how to retain what you learn and reactivating what you've learned before. When I went to university in Japan, I had a Korean roommate who was very good at Japanese. He had basically locked himself in his room back in Korea, gotten up at 5 a.m. each morning, and studied Japanese all day. Needless to say, his strategy worked and he managed to pass the level 1 of the Japanese language proficiency test after just one year of study. <laughs> You might argue that he had an advantage knowing Korean, but it's still an impressive feat. Even though he was in Japan at the time, he said he planned to go to the US to study as well, which he later did. But he said that he wondered how much of his Japanese he would retain if he stopped using it. He thought that he would eventually lose it completely. <laughs> the language that is. But I don't think that's the case. Several of the people I went to university with have seemingly lost their ability to speak Japanese, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they've forgotten everything and that all their efforts were in vain. It's just that they haven't used it for years and therefore it's no longer something that they can access easily. You might forget and not be able to use things you've used before, but that doesn't mean you've forgotten it completely. It's still there, it just needs to be reactivated. I had a Danish friend who this happened to. He studied Japanese for a while a few years prior to us meeting in Japan. But then he didn't use it for a few years until an opportunity to study Japanese in Japan showed up. He didn't really have time to brush up on his Japanese skills, so he ended up in a lower level class than he should have that first semester. The word undertake means the same as do. After a month or so in Japan, However, his skills were back and he cruised through the class with no problems and ended up in the highest level class the following semester. A similar thing happened to me a few years ago. Although I spoke Japanese every day, I went through a few years without reading much. This all suddenly changed when Persona 5 was released and I got the game in Japanese. Suddenly I had to read again and I would also encounter a lot of words that you don't normally hear in spoken language. How did it go? Was I still able to enjoy the game? The answer to that question is a resounding yes. It didn't take long to reactivate the previous knowledge I had. It did of course help that large parts of the game are voiced, but it being an RPG I still had to read a lot. But I managed to remember the readings of the kanji fairly quickly and had no problems enjoying the game. I actually remember feeling my brain work a lot the first few days of playing. This has happened with a few other skills as well. I've had several year long breaks from playing guitar for example. While I couldn't remember how to play any songs, it gradually came back without too much effort. As with reading Japanese, I could physically feel different in my brain when it reactivated. So this is why I don't think you should be too concerned with forgetting. It's not for nothing as long as you can make use of it. And even if you end up not using Japanese at all, if you had fun learning then that can be enough. What really helps though is to reach a high enough level where you're able to make use of native level content. If you do this then you will have a lot easier time of maintaining the language, as you can make use of Japanese just for fun, as opposed to using it as a study tool. This is really the best way, as it's what will happen naturally if you're interested in Japan and know the language. If you reach this stage, then you can just continue engaging with Japanese culture and retain it that way. <laughs> the other way is to just continue learning. You will benefit a lot from going over older material from time to time, especially at the lower levels, so make sure you do that as well. The most important thing is to have fun though, because if you enjoy yourself, you'll keep coming back for more. <laughs> if you feel like you've forgotten everything, you most likely just need a little bit of reactivation. Just pick up your old study materials again, if you have them. Have you given back my book yet? Yes, I have. 
or try to read simpler material online. If you've reached fluency before, just start reading native level content again and look up words you're unsure of. You will need far less effort than you did learning it the first time around. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye, Janai, the show.